Your life is a work of art, a craft to be carefully mastered, for patience has replaced time, and you are your own destination. What is that destination right now? Think about it. Are we crazed at work? We're living in a 24-7 high-tech global marketplace. So there's just tons of information coming at us from all different levels, consistently, family, work. How do we manage it all? More importantly, what happens at the door of the workplace? Do you think we leave that stress at the door of the workplace or are we taking it with us? When you go home, are you taking the stress of the workplace into your home? Yes? No? Yes. Okay. All right. So, that begs the question. What is the most valuable commodity for business in a competitive global marketplace? Productivity? Okay. Knowledge? Knowledge? Money? Money? Information? How about attention? How about presence, the presence and attention of your employees in your workplace? That's what drives the boat. That's what drives that workplace machine. PricewaterhouseCoopers came out with its 2011 CEO survey. And when these CEOs were asked, you know, what are some of the most important components within global competition? They had a very direct answer, and it was like above 50%. Do you know what those two items were? Global competition, innovation, and creativity. So if you have a stressed out workforce, what are they bringing to the table? They're coming to work exhausted. 69% of employees cite work as a significant source of stress. 41% say they typically feel stressed out during the workday. How many people in here feel stressed out during the workday? What do you, how many? Higher, hello, admit it, okay. How many of you, I know you're stressed out. She's not, she's retired. She does yoga all the time, she's good. Here's what's going on, this is your brain. I'm not going to show you your brain on stress. It'll just depress you. <laughs> okay. Here is the prefrontal uh, cortex here, lobal uh, cortex. What's happening in there is when we breathe, when you take breath in right here, that stimulation shoots off neurons in this area. And different chemicals are released. Some of you probably know about dopamine and serotonin, right? As that happens here in the front part of the brain, it calms you down. It calms you down. There's scientific research. Alpha state is a place of meditation. It's a place of peace. It's a place of relaxation. We can induce that state just by breathing, just by breathing, by meditation through prayer. Sympathetic is fight or flight, all right? Parasympathetic is the relaxing mode. We want to trigger that parasympathetic nervous system, and that's why it's so important to cultivate some kind of work-life balance and de-stressing mechanism within your workday. Because when you trigger the parasympathetic nervous system, you will be more creative. Those thoughts will come. You'll have more energy. You won't be in that flight or, or fight syndrome. Cultivating resilience. How are you creating serenity in your work-life merge, in your workplace? What are you doing? We do not leave the stress of life at the door of the workplace. And we're in a time right now where many people are reinventing and recreating their lives. They're upskilling. There are employee assistance programs to help people with this. That's how important it is. Corporate America realizes they need to take care of their employees. They're offering yoga. They're offering meditation. It's happening. They're offering programs on retraining, reskilling, onboarding. Flexibility, part-time work, sharing jobs, it's happening. You know, how are you participating in that? How are you making that happen? It's very important and here's why. Back to the original thought. Because your life is a work of art, a craft to be carefully mastered. For patience has replaced time and you are your own destination. What is that destination going to be? Is it going to be one of peace or is it going to be one of chaos? Thank you.